That's the most modern farm I have seen. Hello and welcome back to Hashtag Fish, the channel where we teach the science of shrimp and fish farming. In this video, we will give you a brief look at a modern shrimp farm in Indonesia. My friend, Dr. Wendy Prabowo, was kind enough to give us a tour of this farm. So, okay, here in the facility, they mix their feed with probiotic and they feed this shrimp every hour for 24 hours. That, that's right, hours. Yeah? yeah? that's right. That's right. So we mix the uh, probiotic. Can you show us the probiotic you oh, use? Yeah. This, is, this is the probiotic. The probiotic they, already come in liquid In liquid, liquid form. Liquid they form. mix uh, between the molas and the uh, bacillus or lactobacillus. Bacillus and lactobacillus. Okay, then from here, we what do you prefer? 100 milliliters. Per kg of the pellet. Okay. We mix it uh, using the mixer like that. Using that cement mixer. Okay, mix then, afterwards. afterwards we put them uh, an aerobic. Keep it an aerobic condition. Condition okay. like this and wait until 24. And yeah, we can see it's not very moist, right? Not it's very moist. Not very moist. Uh -huh. It's not watery. Yeah, not yeah. watery. Because if it's too watery, it will be fungi. Okay, grow fungi. Okay. This is for the tray already weighing. Okay. Already weighing. E each tank has a different quantity per different tray? Different quantity. Different depend on Depend on their uh, feeding. Uh, situation on that day. Okay. If they're really eager to eat, then we give more feed, then there will be more feed on them. Okay. Okay, thank you. times you put in the tray? Every feeding. Every feeding you Every put feeding. some in the tray? Yeah, if using manual, usually we feed them of four times a day. Four times a day. Okay. If you use automatic feeder, usually minimum 12 hours per day working using the auto feeder. Okay. If you can help us to keep making awesome videos like this, please like and share the video. If you want to go one step further and get an edge in your farm management skills, please check out our 120 day protocol for intense shrimp farming in the description below. Oh, so manual now is four times. Four times. So every six hours every the shrimp, six hours. shrimp gets fed. That's right. So the density is 200 per This is per meter? Density 200. Mm -hmm. This the parcel harvest at the 60 on size 100 on 10 grams. 10 grams, 60 days, very good growth. That's right. Then we're doing the parcel, second parcel harvest on day 70, and the final will be minimum on day 90 on size 20 grams. Okay. okay. Depending on the sim price, if the sim price are higher, much higher, mm -hmm. in uh, bigger. Since they will, so we will uh, keep them until size complete. And in here, how many these circular tanks yeah, do you have? 40. 40? 40 times. Okay. 20. 20 with two pedal wheels. Okay. 25% of water exchange per day. And uh, what I was very surprised is that survival is up to 90%. Up to 90% survival. Excellent. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Amazing. Thank you. Yes, so much. it, it oh. really looks fantastic. Yeah. Yes. We also have the wastewater treatment plant. Oh, okay. Can you show us that? Can yeah. You to get your video. Oh. <laughs> so comparing, comparing the costs. This is this new modern technology, farming shrimp above ground, and this is the old technology, excavating. And you're saying. So that the cost uh, when we put the uh, shrimp tank above the 
about the land, so it's, we keep the carbon. That's the goal. So without digging, we keep the carbon. We keep it uh, more, uh, more ecologist. More sustainable. More sustainable. Okay. And by this position, we can arrange the water flow of land into the wastewater uh, treatment. Okay, so wastewater we, treatment. So we, we, we could do that gradually. Mm -hmm. So uh, hopefully uh, the waste of the sea will be uh, in minimum. Yeah. And you think? Do you think that this tank like this is easier to harvest? Easy to harvest. More easy to harvest than than in a pond. Yeah. We could clean up this pond uh, like two, three days. Then we, we, we can fill fill the water up to them. Uh -huh. One day, and in three oh. days or seven days, are ready to you ready to stock again. Stock again. Yeah. That's fantastic. Okay. Okay. So that's the water intake. Water intake. Intake, and this is a water reservoir for water storage. Then you distribute to other ponds, also for for storage. Yeah. For storage. And then. How do you pump it to your tanks? Uh, we use submersible pumps. Submersible pumps. We distribute daily to, to the tank. Turns all the budget and put here. Okay. So this is you can explain the. So Wendy, the water comes from here? Yeah, uh, from, from all the of 20 uh, tanks, all the water will be coming to this uh, collector uh -huh. before coming to the, the first step of the wastewater treatment plant. Yes. Okay. Then the slug is going to the central drain, mm -hmm. the wall in the central drain, then it will be uh, stuck within the submersible pump into this tank. Okay. So the slug will be stay in this pan, but uh -huh. the water will be coming out. You see that? I see. I see. So the water is coming quite clean. Yeah. 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 Is 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 not dirty water. It's coming out. So if you see the the, the slug over there, just coming from. Oh the yes. Okay, so from the central drain, let's have a closer look. The sludge is coming here. The sludge is coming here, we can see. And this is to concentrate. To so, concentrate the flood. Question, after you... How, how deep is this tank? It's like a one and a half meter. One and a half meter. So the sludge will settle here. And then what do you do when it's full? You said you maybe dry? And then we, we, we take the, the sludge. The dry sludge. Okay. So I see you have even more tanks over here, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> In total there are 20. Uh, 30. 30. Per block, 20. But uh, next year they will put another wastewater treatment plant over there for okay. that block only. Okay. Because we need more wastewater treatment plant here. I see. I see. From over there, the water can go out. Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay. And you're planning to put some ozone? Yeah. To make it clear. To make clear. Okay, so let's... This is the slot, the dry slot, you can see. Oh, okay. So this is what the dry sludge looks dry like. Sludge looks like. No, there's no, there's no, there's no smell. No smell because we we'll put lime and probiotic, rhodobacter, anything to, to process the sludge. Okay. So we dry it. It looks just like soil, just, just like, like soil. clay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Go to the sea, but uh, our next step is make it clear like the purity, just like the seawater before we 
Okay. And I think if you do ozone, you definitely yeah. can yeah. do this. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you think this is more carbon neutral? Agree with that. Because you, you know, from our ministry, one part is how to keep the ecology, not only how to calculate the economy. Mm -hmm. So we need to prove the public, the ministry, that we could do this industry in safe, uh, in safe. And you were saying that this initiative was done by the Indonesian government when the pandemic, when the pandemic, when the pandemic came in, the president said that we need to accelerate to keep accelerate the economy, and one of uh, solution is about shrimp. But the question is, if we improve the production of the shrimp, how we keep the ecology? That's the, 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 the big question. So we think that if we could construct uh, the shrimp pond above the ground, so we will we, uh, we'll keep the, the carbon inside the ground mm -hmm. without digging it. Mm -hmm. And uh, by gravity, we could flow the water to the wastewater uh, treatment plant. Of course, it's not still not perfect, but we have the progress and we sure next month we will we'll, we'll launch the wastewater treatment plant using uh, an ozonizer. Okay. So the water will be clean before before it is released. Excellent. That's, that's our objective, hopefully. Excellent. Thank you for teaching us this. If you can help us to keep making awesome videos like this, please like and share the video. If you want to go one step further and get an edge in your farm management skills, please check out our 120-day protocol for intense shrimp farming in the description below. And see you in the next video.